Hello, twin. How are you today? I'm your teacher, Gaby, and today we have a new class together. Let's start. Okay, so first you have to pay attention to the screen now. We are going to see a conversation together. Presten atención a lo que les voy a compartir ahora por pantalla, que vamos a ir viendo algunas cositas todos juntos. ¿sí? No necesitan ni el libro, ni la fotocopia, ni nada. Solamente prestar atención. Ok, let's see. So look, here we can join a Zoom meeting. Are you ready? Let's join. Ok, who's here? Let's see, let's meet the participants. Oh, who is he? And who is he? Who are they? Do you remember their names? Yes, very good. They are Hal and Tim from Changing Places, right? So they're going to have a conversation. Let's see. Hi, Tim. Hi, Hal. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm great. And what about Sophie? She's great too. Where are you now? I'm at the zoo working. Where are you? I'm at home. Where were you yesterday? I was in a talk show. And where were you and Sophie yesterday? We were at the cinema yesterday. We watched your new movie. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you. I have to go now. My boss is calling me. Oh, good luck. Goodbye, team. See you, Hal. Ok. Bueno, fue una breve conversación entre Tim y Hal, pero ahora nos vamos a concentrar en ciertas partes de esa conversación. Let's compare. Vamos a comparar lo siguiente. Pay attention. Look. Look at this question. Where are you now? I'm at the zoo working. Where are you? Ok, tenemos una pregunta y una respuesta. Where are you now? I'm at the zoo. Ok, now look at the next question. Where were you yesterday? And look at the answer. I was in a talk show. Now, what's the difference? ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? Porque las dos preguntas empiezan con where, ¿verdad? En ambos casos estamos preguntando por un lugar, a place. Ok, but what's the difference? Look at the words in color, ok? Look at the words in red and look at the words in blue. Ya hay algunas palabras que están marcadas en colores diferentes acá, right? Look, are... Am, um, where, was. Entonces, ¿por qué en el primer caso, en la pregunta, estamos usando where are you now? Y en la segunda estamos diciendo where were you yesterday? ¿Por qué? Si las dos tienen where al comienzo y las dos se dirigen a la persona a la que le estamos hablando, la que tenemos delante, you, ¿verdad? So, why here are? And here, where? Do you know? Can you write it on the chat? What's the difference? Okay, yes, excellent. Pay attention to these words. Now and yesterday. Es verdad, algunas palabras en las preguntas coincidían, pero otras eran diferentes. Right? So, if we say now, we mean at this moment, en este momento, ahora, right? But yesterday means ayer, ¿ok? Entonces, en un caso le estoy preguntando, ¿dónde estás ahora? Where are you now? Y en el otro caso es, ¿dónde estuviste ayer? Where were you yesterday? Right? So, the difference is in the answer to, ¿ok? Where are you now? I'm at the zoo working. Where were you yesterday? I was in a talk show. Okay. En la respuesta también va a cambiar. 
¿sí? la forma en que armamos la oración. Porque de vuelta, en un caso estamos respondiendo a dónde estoy ahora, y en el otro caso es dónde estuve ayer. Ok, so here the difference is that we are using present or past. Ok, when we say now, where are you now, we are talking in present. I am at the zoo. But when we say where or was, like in the question and the answer here, we are talking in past. Where were you yesterday? I was in a talk show. Okay, so this is very important. Pay attention. Here we have a column for the subject pronouns, then present and past, right? You know the subject pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Now, in present, we say I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it is. I am at the zoo. They are at the zoo. She is at the zoo. But in past, we say I was, you were, we were, they were, he was, she was, or it was. Al igual que en presente, cuando hablamos de dónde estábamos en pasado, va a cambiar la palabra que usemos dependiendo de la persona en la que estemos hablando. ¿sí? Fíjense que en algunos casos vamos a usar was, pero en otros were. Right? I was in a TV talk show. You were in a TV talk show. Okay? It changes. Right? Now, we are ready to continue working with our book. Okay, look at today's class in the virtual classroom. Here we are going to start with the book Discover English One, page 81. Are you ready? Look, this is the page 81. Here, page 81, prepare this, and we are going to highlight some important information. Look at the grammar boxes here. Let's start with this. This is about past simple, ¿ok? The past, lo que veníamos viendo recién. El pasado, como cuando, por ejemplo, hablamos de ayer. Recién decíamos que ayer se dice yesterday, right? So, oops, sorry. So, we say, I was at school yesterday, or she was at school yesterday. But if we talk about a different person, for example, they, we say they were at school last week. Okay? Acá no usamos yesterday, estamos usando otra expresión, last week, la semana pasada. De todas formas, estamos hablando de pasado siempre. Okay? Algo que ya sucedió. Yesterday, last week, they are all in past. El verbo en el que nos estamos concentrando acá es el verbo to be, que en presente podía ser am, is o are, bueno, en pasado va a ser was o were, según la persona de la que estemos hablando. I, he, she, it, was, you, we or they were. And in the negative form, we add not, so we say wasn't or weren't, right? Now, let's continue with the next grammar box. We are going to highlight these two. This is about past simple, but for the questions, right? In the questions, we have to change something. ¿Se dieron cuenta qué es lo que cambia de la pregunta? Respecto de las oraciones y los ejemplos que teníamos acá. Por ejemplo, si digo, he was at school yesterday. Acá estoy en la pregunta diciendo, was he funny? Ok. So, what's the difference? Right. We change the word order. Ok. Cambia el orden de las palabras. ¿sí? Si en la oración afirmativa o negativa empezaba primero con la persona y después con el was o were, en la pregunta vamos a cambiar eso. 
el was o el were va antes de la persona, antes del subject pronoun que usemos. So, was I funny? Yes, I was. Was it funny? No, it wasn't. Were you funny? Yes, we were. Were they funny? No, they weren't. Siempre respondemos con yes or no, como siempre, prestando atención a la primera palabra que apareció en la pregunta para terminar de armar la respuesta. Right? Ok, now, if you have already highlighted this, we are going to continue with a handout. Si ya lo resaltaron, podemos dejar de lado un libro, el libro por un rato y continuamos con un handout. Talking about the past, was and were, right? So, look, this is the handout. Have you got it? Algo muy importante antes de comenzar es que este handout no lo vamos a doblar, ¿ok? Don't fold it, please, ¿all right? Es como las fotocopias que antes aparecían con la lamparita y tenían de título Remember. Bueno, es de ese estilo. Por eso vamos a tratar de pegarlo entero, entero, sin doblarlo, ¿right? Y nos vamos a concentrar en estas palabritas que veníamos viendo recién. Was and were. We know that we use them to talk about the past, ¿ok? So, this is about the past. So, let's complete the chart. Here we have some examples of affirmative sentences. Can you help me complete them? You can write the answers on the chat. For example, I'm mm -mm -mm, at the zoo yesterday morning. So, what should we use? Was or were? If we start saying I with this subject pronoun, we use was. Excellent. I was at the zoo yesterday morning. But if I'm talking about Tim, we say Tim mm -mm -mm, in a talk show on Saturday. Come on, write your answer on the chat. Yes, Tim was in a talk show on Saturday. What about Sophie? She mm -mm -mm, at her grandma's house in the morning. What's missing? Was or were? Yes, very good. Sophie was at her grandma's house in the morning. Si bien tengo los nombres, decir Tim es como decir he. Decir Sophie es como decir she. Acá habíamos visto que con he o she, al igual que con I, usamos was. Ok. Now, so, he, she or it is followed by was, right? He was outside the old building at 6 p.m. Or she or it. Ok, en cualquiera de esos casos vamos a usar was. Ahora, si pensamos en la historia, en changing places, what's the correct option? He, she or it? Right. He. If we are talking about Tim, for example, in the story. He was outside the old building at 6 p.m. Pero si estuviera hablando de otra persona o de un animal incluso, podría usar she or it y el verbo no cambiaría. Ahora, si las personas son diferentes, you, they, we, mm -mm -mm, in the desert on Wednesday. Here, with these subject pronouns, we use yes, were, right? And what's the correct option according to the story? You, we, or they? They, right? They were in the desert on Wednesday. We are talking about the film crew. Hal and the film crew were in the desert, remember? Okay, now let's complete negative sentences. I, mm -mm -mm, at the zoo yesterday evening. So, what happens in negative sentences? Instead of I was, we say, Yes, I wasn't. Very good. Right? Remember, wasn't is made up of two words. Was, not. Para simplificar, es que escribimos wasn't. Ok? I wasn't at the zoo yesterday evening. What about Tim? Mm, 
in a talk show on Sunday? What's the correct option now? Right, Tim wasn't in a talk show on Sunday. He was in a talk show on Saturday. Now, what about Sophie? Sophie, uh -uh -uh, at her grandma's house in the afternoon. Yes, Sophie wasn't in her grandma's house in the afternoon. She was at her grandma's house in the morning. Now, uh -uh -uh, outside the old building at 6 p.m. Si las opciones son he, she, or it, ¿qué corresponde? Wasn't, right? Very good. And in the story, what is the correct option? He, she, or it? He, right? In this case, if we talk about Hal, because Tim was outside the old building at 6 p.m., but Hal wasn't, okay? And finally, with you, they, and we, in a negative sentence, we use weren't. Very good. Mm? Weren't at the wedding on Wednesday. So, you, they, or we? What do you think? We, right? We weren't at the wedding. The characters from the book were at the wedding, but we weren't. Okay. Obviamente depende de quién nos estemos hablando. Pero si hablamos de nosotros como grupo, we can say we weren't at the wedding on Wednesday. Now, do you remember what happens in questions in the interrogative sentences? Let's complete questions and answers. Where Where mm -mm, I yesterday morning? Supongamos que yo no me acuerdo. ¿Dónde estuve ayer a la mañana? Me estoy preguntando como a mí misma. ¿Qué falta acá? Was or were? <clears throat> yes, was. Where was I yesterday morning? Oh, yes. I am mm, at the zoo. Now, what's missing? Right. I was at the zoo. Ahí me acordé. Cierto, tú en el zoológico. I was at the zoo. Now, if we ask about different people, he, she, or it, ¿ok? No me estoy preguntando a mí misma, ¿ok? Hablo sobre él, sobre ella. So, mm, 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 in the church, in the church, sorry. Um, what's the correct option? Was or were now? With these subject pronouns, he, she, or it. Was, right. Was she in the church? And we answer, for example, yes, she was, very good, or no, she wasn't, right? Remember, when we answer yes or no, we have to pay attention to the first word in the question so that we can complete the answer. ¿sí? La palabra was al principio de la pregunta es la que vuelve a aparecer en las respuestas con yes or no. Now, what about the next question? Here the subject pronouns are different. You, they, or we. Mm -mm -mm. In the wedding party last week, what's missing? Right, where? Were they in the wedding party last week? Yes, they were, very good, or? Right, no, they weren't. La misma estrategia que veíamos recién. Look, the first word in the question helps us to complete the answers with yes or no. Okay, so it's a good idea to highlight the boxes, okay? La idea es que estos cuadritos les queden resaltados, aunque sea el borde, remarquen, y podemos marcar las palabras importantes. In affirmative sentences, we use was and were, depending on the person. I, he, she, or it was, you, they, we, were. In negative sentences, we change it for 
wasn't or weren't, right? Depending on the person. And in the interrogative sentences, the questions, we change the word order. Recuerden que lo importante en las preguntas es recordar el cambio en el orden de las palabras. Que las palabras was y were, el verbo, va antes de la persona, antes del subject pronoun. Ok. Now, we are ready with this part of the class. You are going to continue working on Zoom with your teachers. Bye bye, twins. See you next class.